Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Yudinsky. In the election of 1976, Americans were looking for a remake from the Watergate scandal and the rough Vietnam years that had dominated national news. So the nation elected a man who was seen initially as a pioneer to lead the country to a new level of prosperity, but would rather end up as one of the most controversial presidents in the nation's history. Under his leadership, the United States was cast into financial chaos and foreign conflicts would grow seemingly out of control under his watch. He was the 39th president of the United States, Jimmy Carter. Now, Carter was in many ways a prototypical American man in the 20th century. He was from strong Baptist roots and a, a service member in the United States Navy in the 40s and 50s. He married his wife Rosalind during this time as well. Now, during the Kennedy administration, Carter first entered the political space, and in 1970, he was elevated to the national scene, where he became governor of Georgia. Now, Carter's governorship earned him the clout needed to make a run for the presidency on the Democratic ticket. Now, some may say his brilliance was in his timing as the nation was disillusioned with the recent Republican administration of Richard Nixon and looking for a change. Carter ran against Nixon's replacement, Jerry Ford, and won the 1976 election. Although the optimism was high for Carter's presidency, much of his administration was doomed by economic woes in the country. And this, of course, was increased inflation rates, among other things. Now, Carter was not able to connect with many Americans either. And as a result, his popularity plummeted. Add on to that, the later portion of his presidency was clouded by increased Cold War tensions with Russia and the very troubling Iranian hostage situation at the turn of the decade of the 70s into the 80s. What happened was some Iranian nationals kidnapped some 50 Americans in the fall of 1979, and the Americans were not set free until early 1981. By then, it was too late for Carter, who lost the 1980 election to the wildly popular Ronald Reagan. Now, Carter's been much, much maligned in his years since his presidency, especially compared to the prosperous years that followed under Reagan. He did, however, win a Nobel Peace Prize in the year 2002. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History.